cloud perhaps coming in to most counties. Now then tomorrow the high pressure still very much with us, just drifting very slowly north. I think it does mean a better day, a bright day. Plenty at the Dodger Stadium, Los Angeles. Then the fine itself from the Rose Bowl, Pasadena. Here's Romario with the first chance of the match. And he's good. Brazil v Italy. Uninterrupted coverage with Lynham, Venables, Hanson Hill and Davis. World Cup final night on song, on target on BBC One from 6.15. This is BBC One for the Midlands. Leaf Road will come right through here with a toll booth where the horses used to graze. The campaigners say it's a graphic illustration of how a whole swathe of green belt will be destroyed. Well, we're trying to demonstrate just what a motorway will look like coming through this area of green belt between two conurbations. We're trying to indicate that the peace and tranquility in these fields will be lost forever. Later, the protesters lay down in the field to spell out their objections for a photographer in the sky. A public inquiry into the road is continuing. Meanwhile, part of another road was demolished early this morning. A bridge over the M1 motorway in Leicestershire was blown up to make way for a new flyover. Our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner, was there to see it disappear. One push of a button and the bridge was gone, demolished to make way for a new flyover for the Leicester Western Bypass. Contractors say explosives are an excellent way of disposing of unwanted bridges. It's becoming more common because it's a quick and hopefully a safe way of uh, demolishing uh, bridges. And just in case you missed it... <laughs> the motorway will reopen to traffic early on Monday morning. That's the main news around the region. We'll move on now to the day's cricket, starting with the tour match at Northampton, where the South Africans are playing their final game before next week's first test at Lords. But after being put into bat by Northampton, they didn't enjoy the best of starts. Despite missing their main strike bowler, Kirtley Ambrose, and three other first-team regulars, among them skipper Alan Lamb, Northampton enjoyed the best of the pre-lunch session, reducing the tourists to 86 for three. First to go was the flamboyantly named Gerhardus Liebenberg with the score on 27. He'd made 17 of them when Paul Taylor got sufficient lift to find the edge for wicketkeeper David Ripley. Nine runs later, Tony Penberthy tempted Gary Kirsten into a mistimed pull straight into the hands of Taylor. Hansi Kronje then helped steady things in partnership with skipper Kepler Vessels, adding 34 for the third wicket before Mark Bowen found some movement off the pitch to have Kronje caught behind for 20. Northants continued to hold the upper hand after lunch as Peter Kirsten became Taylor's second victim, caught by Penberthy for nine to leave the South Africans on a hundred for four. But that was the signal for Vessels to take control as he moved towards 70, while at the other end, Yonti Rhodes was lending good support. By tea, the tourists had moved on to 207 for five, with Rhodes still there on 40. And the latest from the county ground, the South Africans have moved on to 230 for five. We move on to the county championship where the top game is at Guildford and that's where Warwickshire made 399 in second innings to set the leaders Surrey a victory target of 503. News of their progress comes now from Tim Beach of Radio WM. Surrey are currently 63 for one in their second innings chasing that but unrealistic total of 503 to win. It was Andy Moles who made the task so mountainous scoring an unbeaten 203 in the Warwickshire total of 399. The highest first class score of all time on this ground. Surrey then lost Alex Stewart early in their reply, but they've since recovered a little. They're 63 for one. And there's been one result in the championship today at Portsmouth, where Hampshire have beaten Gloucestershire by 165 runs. At Canterbury, Worcestershire have built up a commanding first innings lead over Kent, making 422. That's a lead of 256. Kent in their second innings are 29 for one. At Blackpool, Derbyshire's bowlers haven't exactly enjoyed a day at the seaside. Lancashire in their second innings are 293 for two. And at Harrogate, Leicestershire gained a first innings lead of 42 over Yorkshire after totalling 373 all out. Yorkshire, second time around, have reached 127 for three. Well, that's it. A reminder, of course, that uh, all local radio stations, see local radio stations, that is, operate during the weekend right throughout the week, too. We'll see you Monday from me. Goodbye.
This week on the Midlands at Westminster, as postal services come under review, will it close the traditional village post office? Join us at 12 noon over on 2 tomorrow. Flintstone Fever this Saturday evening on BBC One. Fred now in the movies. Stay tuned for the story of how it all began. It's new at 6.40, the most entertaining 40 minutes of your lives. Pets win prizes. What Logie Baird had in mind when he invented this thing. At 7.20, clues from above and voices from the past for Miss Marple. You've got a flair for evil. A nose for it. While Victor has a head for it. And a phone that never stops barking. 4291. At 5 to 10, the greatest plane ever flown, the Firefox, built in Russia, wanted in America. You've got to steal it. Stow away this Saturday evening with BBC One. And all that's after a group of stars have hit the road on BBC One. Could this be another galactic collision? The morning after. Can you confirm six survivors? Questions. I nearly got killed out there! He was standing still. He was taken off. Roughnecks, Thursday, 9.30, BBC One. It's my daughter's wedding day. She'll be wanting her father. When it comes to getting on television, some animals will do absolutely anything. 